Hi, my name is Kitty Greenwald and this is Slow Food Fast. Today we're gonna to be making skirt steak with Jerusalem artichoke smash and some sauteed spinach. This recipe is from April Bloomfield, who's based out of New York City. So here are four pieces of skirt steak, about six ounces each. Or what I like to do is season the steaks with salt, both sides. This is kosher salt. In this recipe, we call for two different kinds of salt, kosher and Malden. Malden is good for finishing and it's a more delicate salt. Then you're gonna set this aside. So what you have here are Jerusalem artichokes, otherwise known as sun chokes. You can trim off the knobby bit. These are two pounds. So you just use sort of a sturdy vegetable peeler. I don't worry about getting all the skin off of the small crevice. You just have them sitting in cold water like you would a potato so they don't oxidize. Again, these don't have to be all the exact same size. We're gonna add the sunchokes to the pot, season the mixer with two teaspoons malden salt, two teaspoons of olive oil, and then a quarter cup of water. You wanna set it over medium high heat. Give it a stir. You sort of want the salt everywhere. Cover it and come back to it in about seven minutes. Its whole cooking time is about 20 to 25 minutes. While that cooks, you can tackle the steak. You're gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil. What you really need is for the pan to be super, super hot. I'm gonna do two at a time. And I'm not overcrowding the pan, that way I don't bring the temperature down. And you cook each steak about three minutes per side. Let it cook, let it constantly sizzle. I'm gonna check on my sun chokes again. And you see now some of the water is starting to dry up, so it's good I looked in. That's why you wanna check in on these. I'm gonna add a splash of the boiling water here. It's boiling so it doesn't bring down the temperature. So you're sort of creating a mash as you go. And so this is what, about the third or fourth time I'm peeking in. So I'm gonna give it another smash. You don't want a bite of something solid. I'm gonna add another little splash. Clearly it takes more water than the quarter cup that you initially put in. Okay, that's seared. I'm searing that side. It takes less to sear the second side after you flip it than it does the first. It's the contrast that you want. It's crispy. It's just a little firmer to the touch. That's a mash. I'm gonna go after a larger trunk to see if it's fork tender. It's tender. So the steak is done too, and you want the steak to rest some. The sun chokes, turn off the heat. You're gonna introduce two tablespoons of cream, and then season for salt, and that just sort of made it a little prettier. It's piping hot. So this is seven ounces spinach. You want this over medium high heat. Swirl in two teaspoons olive oil. I'm gonna add the spinach. I just want it just wilted. Season it with a bit of salt. It's quickly cooking down. It takes less than a minute. A squirt of lemon juice. That's it. Your spinach is done. You basically want to let the steak sit for a bit. They're still hot. Season it with a squirt of lemon juice. A drizzle of olive oil. You want to slice it sort of across the grain. If you slice it, you want to serve it right away because it'll lose its heat. Okay, let's plate it. Some spinach. And some steak. That looks handsome. The sunchoke smash is my favorite part of the dish. The steak is probably a little more towards the rare, but it's still medium. Every ingredient, taste of what it is. You should have some.